Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the series here. And in this video, of course, you already know, we're going to be downloading Audacity. Uh, so we're going to start by doing a quick Google search, um, Audacity. And you can obviously find it by uh, typing in on the URL section, audacity.soundforge.net forward slash. So let's go ahead and take a look at the homepage. So this is a homepage. As you can see, Audacity is a free, open source, cross-platform software for recording and editing sounds. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some screenshots. And as you can see, it's for Mac, PC, uh, or Windows, uh, and Linux. So uh, if you're in our recording program, you already know that you're going to be getting you know, Pro Tools. Uh, but if you're not, I definitely recommend you checking out the site and seeing what we have to offer because, you know, this series is only going to scratch the surface of uh, what we really teach about uh, recording engineering. And uh, we definitely offer uh, Pro Tools to all of our students. So I definitely recommend you uh, check, check out our site. Uh, right now, I'm going to go to the download section for Mac since I'm going to be using a Mac for the, this tutorial series. So I'm downloading Audacity 2. 0.3, which is the latest version as of right now. Now there's some additional download options. Um, I definitely recommend that you download the lame MP3 encoder. Uh, this is going to allow Audacity to export MP3 files, which is really important. So right here, this is uh, what this first page looks like. Uh, I would say um, you would want to go to that, I guess that hyperlink right there with the lame download page. It'll give you options whether to download for Windows at the very top or uh, a little bit lower. You can go ahead and download for uh, for Mac or Linux. <laughs> um, also, you know what I would recommend you do, you know, as you're downloading all this uh, new stuff onto your computer, definitely uh, open up your virus scanner, your anti-virus software. And uh, just make sure before you install that you're not installing anything that you don't want to have there. Um, these places are pretty safe, but uh, it's just a good rule of thumb to do this. So the lame library um, file is a lot smaller, so it, it's almost already downloaded, I think. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at these downloads. Actually, I think it's going to be right there on in the Chrome. So let's go back to that. They're right there on the bottom. There it is. So I'm going to begin uh, opening and installing this package right here. So it's going to bring up this uh, kind of window right here. And we have two options here. This is the install information. It's pretty basic. And since I'm walking you through this, we really don't need to look at this. So I'll click out of that. Now this folder is going to have a lot more stuff in it. Uh, but what we're really interested in is basically installing. So uh, as you can see right here, we have our uh, disk image right there on our desktop. And you could just double click on that. And then this dialog box will pop up. And it's pretty safe. So, or it's actually, it's very safe. So I would just hit open so that you can begin the installation process. And it actually uh, installs pretty automatically. It doesn't really ask for too much or anything like that. In a second, uh, you'll see uh, it, it appear on the main uh, desktop. And you can even either just uh, drag this to your your dock, or you can drag that icon to uh, either the program section, or you can install directly onto the uh, program section, or drag that file to, of course, your uh, applications folder. Now, this dialog box that you see right here, I'm going to leave unticked, uh, you know, just in case I want to look at this stuff, information on how to get help. I recommend you do the same. Right now, I'm just going to expand this window right here so we can see uh, what Audacity looks like. In the next video, we're going to discuss the entire layout. So I'll catch you guys on that one. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finance is a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video.